Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look and review the latest installment of the Fame series from Square Enix with Final Fantasy 16. With the recent release of Final Fantasy 16 on PC, I forgot that I owned a copy that I never opened from last year on my PlayStation 5. With my never-ending backlog of video games, I finally took the time to sit and actually play the game and I was super excited for it since the demo last year. Final Fantasy 16 was developed by Square Enix Creative and released by Square Enix for PlayStation 5 in 2023 and Windows PC on 2024. This action RPG is the 16th installment in the mainline Final Fantasy series that really takes the franchise in a totally different new direction in comparison to its turn-based roots. The story follows main character Clive, who suffers from his family and kingdom taken from him as war rages across the land. Years pass and Clive wants to find his brother's killer and takes him on a new journey of discovery and redemption and through this saving the world. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I felt the story was good at times and bad at times, and to me walking away at times as I got a bit bored. There were huge political conflict that is explained heavily into what the why and the how they are happening and what you need to do. I truly felt that the storytelling is a bit on the weaker side as it felt too long to get to the main points. The characters and writing suffered in their development as I never felt close to any of the characters besides Sid early in the game. I started pointing all of Sam Breck. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the armor, but that's not important. I felt that Sid was the only character that had a bit of personality where everyone else was so dramatic and sad that they never stood out. This made the story stand out even less as you struggle through the many, and I mean many, long cutscenes. This may be the first mature rated Final Fantasy as there is a lot of blood and death throughout the game. It was so normal as I passed towns where I thought they were all going to die just to advance the plight of the world story. And I was right. The voice actors did it very well in all respects, but the lack of personality in the writing didn't make any of them stand out as it just felt like every line was super serious and taking its super mature theme to extremes. There were some standouts that was a breath of fresh air, but not too many. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right, you win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know, a while most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. The gameplay was fun, but does hold your hand a bit when you attack with your abilities. There were many times where I would continuously press just one button and the dodge button when needed in battles. I barely moved the analog stick and only really played more during the boss battles. The boss battles are where the gameplay is much more interesting as you can't always rely on the same technique. You would need to know the, their attacks in order to counter successfully. This is where the gameplay really shines especially with the larger epic battles.
where the game truly shines is in its visuals and overall presentation. This is a beautiful game. Every environment is well crafted and never loses its luster in each area you play in and does amaze in this fantasy world. However, the characters do fall short as they don't have any unique designs that you are used to from previous installments. Besides Clive and Sid, there were little differences in the character designs from the rest of the NPCs in the world. I did like the look of the main evil in the game, but nothing else really stood out. They all just looked like really nice customizable NPCs and nothing more, which I felt was a bit of a wasted opportunity compared to the series lineage. Overall, the game has some fantastic visuals with some of the most epic boss battles that is cut short with its overly serious story, lackluster character design with no real personality, and repetitive gameplay where the bosses are the only ones that give you more of a challenge. Final Fantasy 16 gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its fantastic overall presentation with a flat story and characters that really does not make this one memorable at all. It felt like another game with ideas that make Final Fantasy what it is by adding Acid, Chocobos, Crystals, and Summons. That's it for this look at Final Fantasy 16. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. Damn. Yeah. Uh.